This video is brought to you by NAVAC, empowering you to work smarter with their new break-free power tube expander, the NTE-11L. We are going to take a look at some news, real news, okay? I got some real news stuff. Let me make sure I can bring it up here just to keep you guys informed. And it actually comes from a website called HVAC Informed. So let me bring it up. Oh, there's my song. Me doing the right thing all the time. Doing the right thing all the time. Doing the right thing Get lost in this. all the time. Especially Friday at 430. <laughs> That's great. I love that. Uh, I wrote that. That's good. Hit the wrong button, but I really enjoyed that. Here we go. HVACinformed.com. Here we are over here. Tax credits and rebates mean more business for the HVAC marketplace. I was kind of curious about this. And old Larry here, let's see. It's clean energy investments. This is my favorite part. The, the Inflation Act comes back again. Clean energy investments. A new law provides Americans with access to $370 billion for clean energy investments in the form of tax credits incentives, and rebates to improve energy efficiency. There is also a tax deduction for owners of commercial buildings retrofitted to meet energy-saving goals. In August 2022, President Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act, which, despite its name, even these guys say that, despite its name, focuses on billions of dollars of spending on climate change and health care. <laughs> Sorry. Families can take advantage of clean energy and electric vehicle tax credits remember they're plugged into an oil oil derrick basically your focus not focus well maybe focus your electric car is plugged directly to an oil derrick i just want to say that barrack or derrick hmm. i cannot remember now we can save about twelve hundred dollars per year skip 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 energy efficient home improvement tax credit let's see the law renews the energy efficient home improvement tax credit and increases the credit limit for installing high efficiency equipment such as heat pumps central air conditioning systems furnaces hot water boilers etc the program is extended through 2032 good night for 10 years well i'm pretty sure the next administration will probably cancel that the $1,200 annual cap includes up to $600 for a qualified air conditioner or gas furnace, up to $2,000 for qualified heat pump, heat pump water heater, or boiler. There are no income requirements, and the tax credit can be combined with local or utility rebates. In addition, the Inflation Reduction Act, you know the one about inflation reduction, provides $14,000 in direct customer rebates for families to buy heat pumps or other energy-efficient home appliances, contingent on income requirements. 14,000. That is crazy. That is crazy. Unbelievable. So 14,000. All right, let's see what else they got here. Oh, we'll read the criteria too, because I'm kind of curious now. The High Efficiency Electric Home Rebate Program, or HEHA ROOP, provides point of sale rebates as high as $8,000 for a space heating or cooling heat pump. 8,000. It also provides an $840 rebate on a stove, cooktop, range, oven, or heat pump clothes dryer, and $1,750 for a heat pump water heater. An additional rebate is available for non-appliance upgrades such as insulation, air sealing, and ventilation. That's $1,000. Man, I'm glad we all pay taxes, guys. Rebate criteria. There are limits to the amount families can receive based on income and other factors. For example, a rebate cannot exceed 50% of the cost of a qualified project if the family's annual income is between 80% and 150% of the medium income in the area. For lower income households, 100% of the costs are covered. Each family is limited to $14,000 or less in total rebates under the program. Good grief. Distribution. Right, we're going to stop it right there. Well, look at that, guys. They're giving away all of our, you know, all that money you paid in taxes. Here it is right here, guys. You might as well go ahead and take it back and sell something based on it. And I guess that's, that's good, right? Use it to sell equipment at least. At least you can have some kind of benefit from it, which I think is important. Because otherwise, we're just, you know, PPing away our taxes, I think. So let's see what else we have. One more story here carrier to begin field trials of breakthrough cold climate heat pump challenge prototype let's see what this is carrier let's see what these pictures are first let me see i'm just curious uh it's gonna take forever 
These are guys staring at a carrier condensing unit. And then the next picture are guys standing behind a carrier condensing unit, as if to say, we're really proud of this condensing unit. Okay. Carrier is ready for phase two of the Department of Energy's Cold Climate Heat Pump Challenge, which is field testing its prototype heat pump in a harsh climate. What does that mean? This milestone comes on the heels of the Inflation Reduction Act. Here we go again which provides Americans at a $370 billion for clean energy investments in the form of tax credits, incentives, and rebates to improve energy efficiency. The DOE's challenge aims to accelerate commercialization of heat pumps that meet comfort needs in cold climate regions of North America, thereby expanding energy efficient and incentive eligible heating and cooling options for customers. I always wonder though, guys, if, if people don't want something or can't afford something, Really, should the government just let it be, right? They should probably just let it be. Not just try to cram this crap down our throats at every, you know. This is just my personal opinion. I guess I'm more of a libertarian in this area. It says, we're pleased with the lab performance of our prototype heat pump. And the final test results, says Justin Kepi, president, North American Residential and Light Commercial HVAC Carrier. Our team of dedicated engineers and product managers are hard at work continuing to develop next generation heat pumps to increase efficiency, save customers money, and benefit the environment. The federal incentives offered through the Inflation Reduction Act are critical to the adoption of high efficiency heat pumps, and Carrier is committed to delivering innovative climate friendly technologies. Blah. To participate in the challenge, Carrier committed to producing a heat pump with increased cold climate performance. Where is the actual information? Because they keep saying vague stuff. Okay, so here's the problem. Here's the problem, guys. Let me tell you. So, oops. The problem is that they keep saying this stuff. I mean, what does it actually do? I don't know. Because they absorbed a huge chunk of our money. And then they printed a whole bunch. The Inflation Reduction Act actually increases inflation, probably. I don't know. This is a huge crap fest. I promise you that. I don't know what the stats are on this heat pump because it doesn't say anything about it. This is harsh environment. So for someone from Florida, where I'm at might be a harsh environment because it's 55 degrees today. Florida might be like, we can't take it. We'll die. You know, and then if we go here and then we go up north, that's a harsh environment. And then up in New York, they're saying, what well, they say it like this. I don't want to go to the Yukon territories. That's a harsh environment. It's a really good impression. I have family in New York, so that's cool. That's not, it's not actually anything like what they sound like though. So I don't know if that's any good or not, but at least we can look forward to having more heat pumps out there that can handle cold weather, I guess, even though they're all plugged into the same grid that goes back to the coal plant. So I don't know how good electric actually is. I'm sure there is some benefit to it being more efficient with the energy. I don't know, guys, maybe we need to consult an expert. But I don't talk to any experts as I'm just a lowly person in Willard, North Carolina. I'm going to go back to doing what I was doing before, cutting blocks of wood into different shapes and uh, reading up about our fine industry here.